Hello everybody, my name is Jim. I'm with Aviation Products, home of their originals. We hear a lot of questions at the air shows that we attend and online. What type of tools do you need to make a pedal plane? Well, this video is on what tools I use to make all my pedal planes I've done. First, we have a hand router, just a small router with numerous router bits. A 3 8 rounding over bit is the best. I have a 3 by 18 inch belt sander for the rough jobs that I use. A saber saw that everybody probably has at home. A random orbit sander that I have for finished sanding. Of course your hearing protection. A sanding pad for final sanding also. I have electric drill that I use. You don't have to have one. You can use just a regular screwdriver. A bar clamp. You can buy these at your home stores, home department stores or lumber yards. I have different ones, different lengths. You're going to need at least two of these, a 12 inch length or a 12 inch gap here to put your fuselage together. A combination square, a different ruler to measure different things. This make sure your fuselage is square. Either one of these will work just as long as it's long enough. I got a two foot one here and an 18 inch one here. Another combination square used to make sure your fuselage is square. Different C clamps, a two inch, a two inch deep C clamp and a three inch C clamp. I have spring clamps, numerous ones of these you use. Small ones, large ones. Your wrenches, you're gonna need a three quarter inch combination wrench, a crescent wrench everybody has at home. You're gonna need a seven sixteenths inch wrench, a half inch wrench, a three eighths inch wrench, and I just got a couple other ones here just for showing you. Another thing I use is a combination or a digital protractor scale. I really like this to get your angles correct on sanding your fuselage sides to the proper angle. There's two different ones that I have. You're going to need a countersink, a 87 degree countersink. You can get that at Home Depot or Menards. Drill bits. You're going to need a half inch drill bit a 5 16 inch drill bit and a quarter inch drill bit. I have a tapered drill bit with a countersink on for wood screws you can pick up at your lumber store. A staple gun, a putty knife to put on your filler, wood filler. You're gonna need a hammer to pound in your dowels. Uh, the wood filler I use is this. It goes on pink and turns colors when it's dry. On the Mustang, you're going to need a Chinese saw to cut a certain part of that. There's different styles of these to get, so you just have to pick out the one you like. JB Weld 24-Hour Cure Epoxy. This is the only thing we recommend. This is to put your pulley on your pedal crank when you build one. <clears throat> wood glue. I like tight bond too. It's up to you what you use, but just make sure it's water resistant. A regular household iron that has steam capability, capability on it. Don't use your wife's iron because you'll probably ruin it after you build a couple hundred of these. <clears throat> You're going to need some old cloths. Don't use your wife's washcloths. Go out and buy some cheap washcloths at Walmart or wherever. You're gonna need a couple gallon milk jugs for water and weight. <clears throat> I have some rubber gloves just in case you're sensitive to glues and things like that. You can use that. I have a drill index with numerous size drill bits in it. And really that's about it, what I use to build any of the pedal planes that I build. Thank you very much. 